Over the years, humans have made some incredible strides towards technological advancement. There seems to be no obstacle the human mind can't overcome, which is both terrifying and incredible at the same time. It's what we do with that tech that's the determining factor. From machines that create bridges where there are none, to machines that tear down a forest with a few flicks of some joysticks. These are the 15 most useful machines that do incredible things. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling! Number 15. The Lee Bear Climbing Excavator We all know German engineering is exceptional. Some say it's in their blood. What is indisputable is engineers born of the country are often world leaders in their respective fields. You don't earn the title world's biggest exporter of industrial and heavy machinery without the know-how or can-do. It's no wonder that when new and impressive technology is created, the Germans like to put on a show. Take the Liebherr excavator, for instance. You've probably seen a million excavators in your life, but have you seen one do this? In a spectacular display of German engineering at its finest, the Lee Bear can climb the obstacle. If you're thinking how is this practical, you are missing the point. The German people take pride in their engineering culture and the incredible feats their minds can accomplish. The video is a testament to the precision, dedication, and execution of German engineers trying to create the best possible thing. Practicality is overshadowed by adaptability. Don't think so? In 1893, a pocket knife crafted by the company Victorinox was considered excessive and unpractical. For Americans, that knife later became known as the Swiss Army Knife. Number 14. Kesla 28RH Ecolog When I first watched the video of this incredible machine, I didn't know whether I felt good or bad. On one hand, it's an astonishing accomplishment of engineering. On the other, it's made tearing down a forest where it once required an entire team as easy as playing a single player video game. And that's no joke. This machine can rip trees from the ground and turn them into logs with the flip of a wrist. It can swing tree trunks around like a twig, shave off its branches in a single fluid captivating motion that had me smashing rewind like never before. I'm almost inclined to call the machine and the video ruthless. The trees don't stand a chance. If you could get started inventing the device that replants the trees equally effective, that would be great. As history has often shown, science can be beautiful. It's rarely forgiving. Number 13. Autonomous Trucks we all knew it was coming. There seems to be much debate on the topic and for a good reason. But did you know there are already freight trucks and testing phases that deliver cargo better and faster than the human controlled counterpart? But that is evident already, right? A machine won't need rest or food breaks or any other human needs. Before the arguments fill the comments, hear it out. Where there will be growing pains, the world will be a better place for it. Sure, jobs are going to go away, but that hasn't ever changed throughout history. Humanity and technology evolve side by side. After the hiccups and tech become better, the roads become safer. You gain more time on trips when considering you won't have to worry about driving. If cars operated like a computer, data such as the exact size and speed of every vehicle in traffic would be known. Traffic would turn into a well-oiled machine when human error is removed from the equation. The gears turning with razor precision. You can still enjoy your pleasure ride in your muscle cars every once in a while without the added worry of contributing emission to our sensitive climate. Number 12. The Ocean Cleanup 1B I'm happy to see that there are some engineering brains in the do-good sector, not just industry and profit. Better, faster, cheaper is no longer a luxury mindset that we can afford. The ocean giveth life, but also taketh away. That is to say, if we don't take care of it, it will take care of us. Did you know that there's a spot in the Pacific that's covered with two trillion pieces of plastic? I'm talking surface floating plastics that stretch as long as some small countries. Cleaning something like plastic has proven a challenge in the past. With the Ocean Cleanup 1B, we can at least begin to have hope. The idea is simple, to gather the miles-long stretch of surface plastic by creating a lip-like wrap that gathers all the plastic closely together. Then a boat hauls in to land where the crew is stationed for extraction. The haul is no cakewalk. 
with a floater on top and a skirt dragging 10 feet beneath the water to catch any escaping plastic, you are essentially hauling the weight of water trapped in the skirt. For the sea creature lovers out there, don't worry. The ocean cleanup thought about how it would affect them too. As the curtain beneath the water is dragged, it creates a downward stream that fish can swim with, but plastic cannot. The plastic stays and the fish get a fun ride. Next to the ocean cleanup crew who thought about the big picture in the conservation effort. Number 11. Of course I still love you. If you haven't been keeping up with the news lately, SpaceX and NASA have made incredible progress in the next step of space travel and exploration. We now have rockets that can return to Earth on their own with pinpoint accuracy and a bobbing ocean waiting drone ship to catch it. Not only is this a significant improvement in reducing resource consumption when compared to the past, but also a viable step forward in the journey into the stars. The drone boat mentioned earlier is aptly named Of Course I Still Love You, referring to its motherly efforts to catch the returning child. Though unfortunately, the video footage cuts off as soon as the red-hot rocket steam enters view. It's still enough to conjure up plenty of wonder and awe at the feats of human ingenuity. So go humans! Number 10. Big Bertha Before you know how Big Bertha, the world's largest tunnel boring machine, came to Seattle, you must first understand the history. It was born out of necessity. In the not too distant past, Seattle was one decent earthquake away from some of its significant highways collapsing. Something had to be done, and done fast. Enter Big Bertha, named after the last Seattle mayor. BB was created to carve out the largest tunnel in the world, all within the tight timeline that is Mother Nature's ticking clock. The project is massive, and the drill is equally as massive, standing five stories tall and wide, and 365 feet long. This isn't just some tunneler, however. This is a genius engineered tunneler that cleans up after itself. By cycling the rock in concrete, it excavates onto a conveyor through and out the belly of the beast. It also installs the concrete panels that will make up the tunnel walls. That's right, this thing cuts out the tunnel, sweeps it out, and builds the tunnel at the same time. When its monstrous head pops out of the exit, all that's remaining to build is the road. It's an incredible machine of engineering, but it's also an astonishing development of city infrastructure that will redefine the way cities are built into our future. Number 9. Vulcan 2. When 3D printing was invented, it changed the way people built. Well, everything. Today, there's a company out there trying to 3D print their way into a new market. There are 3D printed toys, bottles, weapons, and even cars. I've been excited about the idea of 3D printed houses for quite some time, and finally, it's arrived. That's right, 3D printed houses. But these aren't using the standard plastic materials that majority of printers utilize today. This baby layers concrete upon concrete instead. A familiar design to anyone that have experimented with hashtag deprinting before. The best part? They're sturdier, cleaner, cheaper, more durable, and sealed better than any other house on the market. The Vulcan is a one-man machine that can do the job of 40. While it's being layered, the entire house is wired for smart capabilities, making these homes the most efficient but also the most intelligent. Those are some beautiful things to claim. If the Vulcan team's boasts are as accurate as they claim, this could change the housing market forever, offering housing options at prices more reasonable. It's a start. The hardest change will most likely present itself from people missing their many 7,000 square foot houses in a time where so many still don't have one. Number 8. The Hulk Exoskeleton The military carries a heavy load, both figuratively and literally. Sometimes soldiers are forced to carry hundreds of pounds or more in equipment up the dry, arid air of mountaintops, the sluggish impedance of swamps, and many others. All in all, a soldier has a heck of a loaf to carry. That's where the Hulk comes in, and it's just the beginning. With the capabilities to remove the extra load entirely, including the weight of the suit itself, soldiers indeed have become super. The suit has a network of sensors throughout that reads the motion and electrical firings of the body's muscles. The sensors then actuate the hydraulic system that allows the soldier to move like humans move. It doesn't inhibit the soldier from any movements whatsoever. 
which was always a significant concern of exosuit development. From climbing steep mountains to helping keep weapons perfectly steady in a firefight, the Hulk is an incredible start. It would seem an authentic super soldier suit is in the not so distant future. I just want one that can help me run a little faster and jump a little higher. When you invent that, <laughs> give me a call. Number 7. The Paddy Panther Finally, someone flexed those big engineering muscles to aid our worldly farmers in the ever-growing demand for food, especially with the health food awakening in our world. The Paddy Panther may not at first seem more than a riding lawnmower, but with a little observation, you can see the marvel that is the panther. In a world where rice farming is still often hand-planted, the Paddy Panther allows for the planting of rice at a rate of a group of farmers. What once took farmers a week to accomplish can now be accomplished in a matter of days. It can cover anywhere from six to eight acres of land in just eight hours. That's quite an improvement. Not to mention it's a backsaver for all those poor farmers who bend over with each one. Sheesh. Number six, the MakerBot. We mentioned 3D printers earlier and how they've taken the world by storm. MakerBot is the most user-friendly and capable machine of consumer 3D printing, one of the few 3D printers that can print two colors of material in the same build. The MakerBot is turning heads at tech shows and creators alike. What makes MakerBot so unique is its massive, professional, and user-generated schematic archive, where makers can download schematics, learn how they were made, and replicate the build to near perfection. This brings up an interesting point about technology in our world, the more enjoyable the fun the learning process is, the more people will take an interest. There are limitless possibilities offered with 3D printing offers. The future should be exciting for all, as it puts the power of manufacturing into the hands of the people. When it's easy enough to learn, people will rely less on the mega corporate world that dominates today. Number 5. Amazon's Prime Air we're not talking about a freight liner or a retail plane. We're talking about Amazon's massive fleet of drones, dubbed Prime Air. It will most likely be a new perk for Prime members when it rolls out in its entirety. Currently in a beta phase in select countries, Amazon has been delivering packages up to five pounds for over a year now, which is incredible. In the US, there's a problem of security for the drones, which is the leading cause of concern for rolling it out in the United States. They've been shot down, hit with rocks, and disappeared, causing the company to stop its efforts in the U.S. Today, it's slowly returning to U.S. operations in one or two cities. It's impressive, and they're working on many powerful propulsion techs to up the carrying weight capacity. With as many people that order from Amazon, I can't imagine the sky not filled continuously with gray drones and the buzzing hum of their engines. Number 4. Sam 100 Laying bricks is one of the most meticulous and pricey forms of construction there is. I'm talking solid brick, not the tile that's glued into plywood. In part because of the time required, partly because of the labor, brick laying is considered a luxury type of construction. I'm interested to see if brick houses will remain the high dollar item after the mass deployment of the SAM. It can do it all. It squeezes the mortar out of a pipe like a tube of toothpaste onto the brick with near perfect smoothness, places it with leveled precision, and can do it six times faster than a human. Today it feels like you can't throw a rock without hitting something crafted by a robot. Where it once was a person, it's a slow process and we can all see it coming. There is no stopping the robot takeover. But it's not as dire as many may think. Where there is freedom of worry from one aspect of life, other, more pressing matters can be addressed moving forward. Number 3. Exploration Vessel Nautilus We genuinely live in exciting time today, with the technology to be able to view rocket takeoffs and landings, to the incredible depths of sea exploration voyages, we, the viewer, can log into the internet and consider all the glory in live time from the comforts of our chairs. I love this, as it allows people to see and be amazed by the many things our world has to offer. Where there wasn't prior opportunity, leaving many without those moments, inspirations, and wonder that go along with them. The 2019 Nautilus expedition was no different. With crystal clear cameras and footage taken at the depths never before recorded, the Nautilus is a sea explorer's dream come true. Number 2. Boeing's Flying Taxi If you're thinking Fifth Element, I salute you. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, it's not quite as capable as the taxi in that film, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. Resembling a plane still more than a cab, the term is about the service rather than the vehicle, as in taxi service. 
Boeing is in the process of creating not only a flying taxi service, but an autonomous flying taxi service that can both take off and land without human intervention. The best part? It's completely electric, meaning no carbon emissions. It's good to see an effort by one of the biggest manufacturers in the world pulling their weight. Number 1. SLJ 900 Last, but certainly not least, the SLJ 900 is a monster of a machine and a treat to watch. The SLJ is a bridge girder erection machine that looks like something out of a science fiction film. It can build a bridge where there are none. It can double in length, dangling over dead-ended cliffs as securely as if supports were beneath it. It can bridge massive gaps, transport and place massive slabs of road without a groan. China is building massive bridges to the likes of which the world has never seen. You'd need an equally impressive machine to do the heavy lifting. The SLJ 900 was engineered explicitly for this purpose. It reminds me of an inchworm, spinning a silken bridge beneath its feet as it traverses massive gaps. If you're a gamer, it's like building a roof in Minecraft while standing atop. With high aspiration comes remarkable ingenuity. With a machine like this leading the way, China will have its massive bridges built before you know it. The machine is turning heads worldwide, as it should, and engineers around the world are attempting to replicate the design. Humans are capable of remarkable things. As the species evolve, so does our technology. To think one oversees the other is a misunderstanding. The truth is, we grow together. Sometimes it's unbalanced, but somehow, some way, it finds a way to rebalance. A great mystery of the world is our technology grows, so does the way we work, the way we live, the way we eat. We just need to ensure that the need and want of technology won't supersede the essential needs of the species itself. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all the latest.